People were busy that they passed through hard palaver for the National Orthopedic Hospital inside Kano, Dr. Clapan, for the International Committee for the Red Cross, ICROC. As they helped them to live normal life again, ICROC went to say they collaborate with the management of the hospital, give artificial hand and leg them to the people when we say that they pass hard palaver, when we say they need way to what they call prosthetic devices. Our talk talk person, Amadou Ye, Yanos more. There is no much problem in this. An examination of an amputated victim at the National Orthopedic Hospital in Kano. Measurement. With the ongoing military campaign in the northeast, the hospital has seen an influx of victims without limbs, almost five on a weekly basis. Through a partnership with the International Committee for the Red Cross, ICRC, the hospital management says it can now manage the influx of patients needing requests for limbs to help them live a normal life. Individuals with disabilities have been presenting themselves to this hospital since 1959 up to date. Along the line, quite a number of NGOs have come in to assist, one of which today we are proud of, ICRC, uh, that is now on ground in our hospital, assisting uh, the needy, particularly in the areas of provision of uh, free artificial limbs to Amputees, amputees, particularly those ones from Boko Haram insurgency in uh, Borno, Yobe, and Adamawa state. Losing a limb is not as easy as we talk about it. If you uh, encounter someone who has lost a limb, it's like everything for him is done or for her is done. He cannot do the basic activities of life. But after rehabilitation, people are able to go back to work. People are able to go back to school. People are able to go back and do their normal daily activities. The partnership sees artificial prosthetic devices manufactured to feed the exact needs of patients via a modern technology. ICRC uses what we call polypropylene technology to make the artificial limbs to be producing weight. So we have this plastic. We heat it in this oven, as you can see here. The hospital management also adds that the support from the ICRC goes beyond just providing limbs for victims. Not only that ICRC is actually just giving artificial limbs, they are also partnering with us in terms of training. Uh, they have in training of some of our surgeons in terms of how to manage uh, severe trauma, particularly the early phase of trauma. One of the beneficiaries, Binta Usman, says she can now live a normal life. <laughs> Even 10-year-old Ibrahim Meidoki can do beyond jumping around like his age mates. Victims like Binta Usman and Ibrahim Meidoki are among those who have benefited from this partnership. They commend the ICRC and the National Orthopedic Hospital, Kano, for their gesture of goodwill. Amadin Uyi, Plus TV Africa.